Right, so let's ignore who won today's stage. It was Tade Pikachu versus Ben Card. Let's talk about what, what's the elephant in the room is the what's Bikido that Brandon McNulty whacked today, as long as Vingegaard and Pogacar managed to follow. Now you can see Kolda Aze was 26 minutes, 24 seconds, 6.6 .6 watts per kilo, which I think I'm going to show you in a minute is correct. 2 minutes 30, faster than Pantani, Ulrich and Veronk in 1997. Well, we all know what was going through people's veins in 1997. A lot of EPO and a lot of very high hematocrit. Um, They also did Perigude at 6.3. So it was a super, super strong performance. Now I'm gonna go through some of Magnolti's best numbers from previous years and maybe show that it's not as crazy as people think, or maybe it is. So anyway, these are some estimated watts per kilo by, by the old man, um, Night Chaka. Some of his are very inaccurate, some of his seem accurate. Um, obviously, you know, the more outrageous watts per kilo he predicts, um, then the more tweets he gets. So there's an incentive to overestimate as always. Um, and some of them are correct, some of them I think are too high today. Judging from people's palmiers, seems about right. Um, but yeah, so these were sort of Brandon McNulty's best numbers. Um, but this is all very, very funny um, because this is all wrong. There are lots of numbers that McNulty does that these guys, I don't know what they do. Um, they obviously don't check Strava too much because it was pretty easy to find them. Um, that he's done a lot of 6.4 to 6.5 watts per kilo for similar time periods as this. So maybe I should uh, tell them how to do their job. But anyway, we'll go over to Sadie Bigatcha's ride because it's always interesting to see the speed. Um, so first climb was done at 1500 VAM. Five and a half in the wheels is what 1500 VAM equates to, it seems, uh, based on set curse. This again was about five and a half. This climb was where they got the com, 24k an hour up 7%, which is pretty mental, uh, like pretty bonkers indeed. Um, there's nothing really else to say about it. Like, 1670 VAM doesn't seem that crazy, but on such a low gradient, it really, really is. The last climb, again, wasn't the most ridiculous in the world. Like, they obviously were getting paced, but you can see here, like, 8%, 21k an hour is decent, but it's not, like, crazy for these guys. Um, and then the last 9% was pretty hard. Um, if we look at the sprint, it's quite interesting, actually. 21k an hour, 10% is, for two minutes, is pretty impressive. 2000 VAM. Um, we can go over to Sepkus as far in a minute. Um, to just go show that the watts per kilo is right um, because the thing is often like people estimate watts per kilo but it depends on the wind but if you look at Sepkus, Sepkus got a spat but if we look at the the front sort of 10 minutes was 6.4 watts per kilo but obviously this is like 8% so a bit of drafting and then if you look it actually gets harder he's got five, 4 minutes at 6.6 .6 watts per kilo three minutes uh, so i reckon it is about right 6.6 .6 on the front a little less than the wheels um they reckon what do these boys say they say no they just say it's the same um they say maybe 6.4 in the wheels maybe that's right but anyway the question is is this unheard of from brandon minolti so we'll go back to 2020 Giro. i actually did this video myself so 400 watts 69 kilos pretty impressive for a time trial, 5.6 watts per kilo for 50 minutes on the time trial bike is strong. Again, you'll see 7.4 for four minutes. Again, very strong. Um, but we really want to look at sort of this part here. And you can see he's doing 6.1 watts per kilo for 22 minutes on the time trial bike. Very impressive. So again, if we go back to, I don't know, we got rid of the graph because the graph is irrelevant. But anyway, impressive performance, 22 minutes, 6.1 watts per kilo. So again, I think um goes to show he definitely can do the big numbers. We can see here 450. 6.6 .6 watts per kilo he does for the first 10 minutes. This includes just on the flat riding at 6 watts per kilo, which is pretty, pretty impressive. So that was in 2020, okay? Um, Brandon Minolti is, is an absolute specimen. He's, he's something I've never seen before um, in terms of some of his numbers. Um, so this ride again was in 2021. This was the, I mean, he finished third in that Giro TT behind Ghana and Dennis. Um, and this was in the Dauphiné, 2nd of June, 2021. Um, and again, it doesn't seem that impressive because there's some downhill stuff, but for the actual TT here, 6.2 watts per kilo for 22 minutes. So again, you've seen he can do 6.2 for 20 um, in TTs, and I obviously the TT bike is always less. We can look on the left here again, we can see 450 for 10 minutes, that's 6.5. We can see 20 minutes at 430 watts, you know, normalized of 450, 6.5. So 6.5 for 20 for Brandon is not that ridiculous, okay? And I think people need to realize that that is the sort of level the boy's at. Is he consistent? Okay, it's different. This is the Drome Classic. This was the actual one I don't want to watch. This is the, sorry, I don't want to look at. Um, I've got his results up there, which we can go through as well. 
Um, this was the phone hour dash, which he won. 340 normal miles for 4 hours 50. So at 69 kilos, that's almost 5 horse per kilo for 4 hours 45, which is pretty strong, but actually not that crazy. Um, we can look on the left here and some of these see these, some of these peak numbers. So we can, again, we can see here 6.7 watts per kilo for 10 minutes. So pretty impressive. Um, but if you actually look at the whole climbing performance here, you can see it's 400 normalized for the last hour, which is very impressive. And for this bit, again, you can see 5.8 watts per kilo for 43 minutes. On this climb, he does 6.5 for 16 minutes. So again, it goes to show even at the end of the race, he can do very good watts per kilo. And this is quite a hard race. You know, the beginning bit, it's like five and a half. Um, this is 4.6, a bit easier, 4.7. Um, I guess easy, you know, easier than the tour for sure, but still 6.5 for 16 minutes. Very impressive. Now, this is what he did in Paris-Nice, which obviously is a long time ago, but this is one of the most impressive rides I've seen in a long time. You can see here when the break was going, he did five and a half watts per kilo, 390 for 50 minutes. So pretty tired. They rolled through the stage pretty decently, you know, not too hard for him. Only 136 heart rate, but four watts per kilo. And then on this climb, he went nuclear. 6.1 watts per kilo for 22 minutes. But if you look how hard he rode, 6.4 watts per kilo for 17 minutes. So again, it goes to show that he can do these performances. So 440 watts for 6.3, again, 6.3 for 13 backs it up. So if we go over to Mihai's calculations, they seem they seem pretty accurate. Um, and if we get if we go back to the graph, you can see that it's very inaccurate because if we this is what will get shared around and say, well, hang on a minute, he's gone from doing, you know, twenty twenty two levels is is this? It's like well well no, um no that that's that's not right. Um for sixteen minutes he's done like six point four, which would be about here. Um, and so, you know, and he's done like 20 minutes at 6.2, which would be a, about here as well. So it's not that crazy. Okay. Like I'm not trying to discount. It's an unbelievable performance. The Brandon McNulty is ridiculous. Again, if we go onto the Mihai's Twitter, look who these three people are. Ivan Sosa, McNulty, Pagacha. I've done a video about this. It's unbelievable. They, they climbed it so quick up to Maribel. Uh, like he's, he's a really good rider and these what's the kilo should be treated the same as everyone's like you know everyone's riding stupidly fast right obviously i made a video about this so i don't think brandon mcnulty doing these numbers is that crazy like you've seen he's had a steady progression over the years um and is now you know doing numbers you'd expect him to do um he's a genetic freak he does numbers that are stupid i definitely recommend following him on strava um and yeah so anyway cheers for watching hope you did enjoy this video and i'll see you in the next one